Hello students, we shall now deal with one more questions from the topic sequencing. The first question is, Dash algorithm is used for solving the sequencing problem. So the algorithm which is used to solve a sequencing problem is known as Johnson's algorithm. And so here the answer will be Johnson's algorithm. So it is Johnson's algorithm. So N has to come here. Johnson's algorithm. Kindly make this correction. So the next question is the time required by a job on each mission is called the dash. That is the time taken by a job on each mission is known as the processing time. So the answer is processing time. The next question is the total time for completing all the jobs by all the machines is called the total elapsed time. And so the answer is total elapsed time. So this is the time taken for the completion of all the jobs by all the machines. The next question is dash is the time in which a machine does not have a job. That is the time in which the machine stays idle. So that is known as the idle time. So idle time is the time in which a machine does not have a job. The next question is dash refers to the sequence in which machines in which uh, the sequence in which the machines com uh, completes the job. So dash refers to the sequence in which the machines have to complete the job. So the jobs will be completed in particular sequence and that sequence is known as the processing order. And so the answer is processing order. The appropriate order of a series of jobs to be performed in dash time is called a sequencing problem. So the main aim of a sequencing problem is to reduce the working hours. That is to, bring, to keep up the time to be as much as possible to be minimum. And so here the answer is minimum. So the appropriate order of a series of jobs to be performed in Minimum time is called a sequencing problem. The next question is number of possible sequences of n jobs on m machines is dash. So here the number of possible sequence when we have n jobs on m machines is given by how many jobs we have n jobs. So first we have to find n factorial and then how many missions we have m missions and this n factorial has to be raised to the power of the number of missions which is m. So this gives us the number of possible sequences of n jobs on m missions and so therefore the answer is n factorial raised to the power of m. The next question is if three jobs are processed through two machines then the number of possible sequence is dash. Now here we have three jobs that is the value of n is equal to 3. And how many machines are there? There are two machines. So the value of m is equal to 2. So they are asking us to find the number of possible sequence. So what is the formula? Just now we saw the formula is n factorial raised to the power of m. So the answer here will be n factorial raised to the power of m which will be 3 factorial raised to the power of 2. We can either write this directly as the answer or we can simplify this and we can write the answer. So on simplification what do we get here? What is this 3 factorial? 3 factorial is 3 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 1 the whole square and so that is equal to 6 square and so the answer is 36. So therefore the number of possible sequences is 36. 
so this is the answer hope you have understood all the one mark questions so far that we are uh, dealing in the sequencing problem and uh, in our next video we will see more problems on one mark questions thank you